Let's take a look at finding uh, determinants, and, uh, determinants on an HP 39G2 calculator. We've been making too many of these videos today. Okay. We will find determinant of this matrix. Now I already have this written down on my tablet, right here. So first thing we want to do is we want to input this matrix. You see you got matrix um, below the 4, and it's in blue, so we do Shift 4. And uh, our first one here uh, is M1, and it says 1 by 1. So we'll just go ahead and press uh, F1 for edit. We'll do the button right below it. And uh, we'll do 3, and um, Enter, and then 1, Enter. Now it assumes two columns, but if I do an up arrow, and then right arrow over to the third column, I can put 2 in, and that automatically adds my third column for me. So I'll do 4, Enter, 5, Enter, 6, Enter, then 7, Enter, 8, Enter, and 9, Enter. Okay, so we've got 3, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now there is no save to this. As we've been typing it in, it's been saving it. So that's now stored in M1. So if I were to click Home, that takes me back here. Now we want to go into our Math button. So I click a Math button. And um, somewhere, if you scroll up, scroll down, you're going to find Matrix. Once you get to that, you press your right arrow key. And then if you scroll down, you're going to find DET. This is a determinant, so we'll press enter on that. Now we need to tell the determinant of what, and so we're going to type M1. Um, now, I'm trying to locate M, here's M. So I do alpha, and then my closing parentheses for the M, and I'll put 1 in, and then I'll put my closing parentheses, and press enter. And it tells us that our determinant is negative 9. A little bit of rounding issue there. Because it, uh, the calculator is sitting there um, calculating all this uh, using numerical methods, and you have um, some calculation error that pops up with this. So if you see negative 9.000001, you could assume that um, it's negative 9. Now on HP Prime, and I'm not sure what it'll do on this calculator, but on HP Prime, if I push my fraction button, uh, it puts it that form, push it again that form. You see it says negative 9 over 1 there, um, so you can pretty well assume it's negative 9. hate the fact that it came up with that point zero 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 one. This is the first calculator I've run across that actually does that. Um, but that's how you find determinant on HP 39G2 calculator.